Do you want to get found in search GPT when people are looking for what you're selling? Great! Today I'm going to teach you how. I'm Maverick, the Marketing Consultant. Not too long ago, horses were the number one method of transportation for individuals looking to get from point A to point B. And that is until Henry Ford began mass producing automobiles so that the working man could finally afford them. And it's funny, he was once quoted as saying, if I asked people what they wanted, they probably would have told me faster horses. Today is no different. However, we all know we need a better search engine. We all know that Google doesn't really always do a great job of showing us the most relevant results. And that one of the reasons for that is because the system can be gained, right? A lot of search engine optimization people over the years have been tricking search engines into getting ranked. For example, JCPenney, I think it was uh, back in 2014, 2015, was deeply penalized by Google for tricking the search engine and getting higher ranked. I believe they were suspended from the search engine for at least a month or two, maybe more. But at the end of the day, the problem is you're not always getting the most relevant result. And this is where AI comes in. So at the end of the day, what's going to end up beating a search engine is not another search engine, it's not another horse, it's gonna be an automobile, it's gonna be an F-16. It's going to be Search GPT. And because of that, you need to start working to optimize your website in the interest of making sure that you rank in Search GPT. Now, some people will say, you don't really get ranked in Search GPT. I beg to differ because first and foremost, when I'm using ChatGP right now, and I'm looking for a new uh, window company or a new HVAC company, I want a few options. So I give it specific instructions to find me the best options for X, for Y, for Z, and whatever your specifications are. And that's the huge difference, and that's your advantage versus all the Goliaths out there. You can strategically set up your business online to begin ranking better than ever before in Search GPT than you did in Google. So when my team and I dug deep into the key factors Search GPT, and right now ChatGPT, is using to identify companies that they wanna to recommend to their users what we found were six key factors. And they're as follows. Number one, relevancy. Number two, brand mentions. Number three, reviews. Number four, age. Number five, recommendations. And number six, authority. So the big two we're gonna to cover today are relevance and reviews. With regard to relevance, you need to set up your website as if it's an e-commerce website, as if you're working to eliminate every objection somebody could possibly have. The best way to do that is with a really robust, frequently asked questions section. Every single time you get a question that you have to answer over the phone, in chat, in email, in a smoke signal, you should carbon copy that question and your best answer to that question on your website in a frequently asked questions section. So when you have a really robust frequently asked questions section that answers every potential question a website visitor or search GPT could have with regard to your business, your services, your products, you're automatically serving it up to them so they can recommend you in their app to people looking for your offerings. Now we're gonna talk about reviews. I hope you've already automated the process of getting reviews. Now there's a certain way you gotta go about it. For example, in Yelp, you cannot send somebody a direct link to your Yelp page and say, leave us a review here. Yelp won't actually display it. They're gonna hide it. So there's different ways you have to go about getting different reviews. But as long as you're watching the marketing memo every single week, I teach it to you. However, with regard to quantitative, you need to find a way to automate the intake of all those positive reviews all over the web. Trustpilot, Google reviews, Yelp, so on and so forth. I can't stress that enough. Now, let's talk about the qualitative. Getting a review in and of itself is 2024 is not enough. You want people talking about specifics and not Jan was really cool, Mike was really nice to me. No, no, no. The product, the service, and or the location. So the type of review you want is about the product or the service and or the location. So I just bought a CJ7 Jeep from my favorite Jeep dealer in Haddonfield, New Jersey. I dealt with Tim, he was really cool. They're gonna put it in their own words, but 
ensure you nudge them in the interest of talking about the product or service and or the location. So important because ChatGPT is going to use this information when somebody's like, I'm looking for a new candle dealer in Smithville, New Jersey. And then they see a bunch of reviews and a website, of course, with a really robust FAQ section talking about all these different candles they bought from this location, Smithville, New Jersey, and so on and so forth. So again, don't forget to have a really robust FAQ section on your website so that you can address every question, every objection, every potential website visitor, Google search, chat GPT, and eventually search GPT query could contain. And also don't forget to push those qualitative reviews from your happily satisfied customers. You want them to talk about not only the people in your organization, but the product or the service and or the location. And that's gonna ensure that when people are looking for you and chat GPT and eventually search GPT, they find you and not your competition. So I'm Maverick, the marketing consultant, your marketing consultant. I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, I'll see you here back next week. Take care, bye-bye.